Let's see if he can calm the nerves. Alexis leading the flock up through the middle. All five of them, they're going to be popping their way through. It's an explosive play coming out. Oh. Hetrick, he's the first casualty of that mid-push. Bit just easily getting rid of him. He does have the most ridiculous headshots, doesn't he? Four and five now. It's <laughs> one more taken down, Brolin. It's so crisp and clean. And he's looking for one more headshot. There we go. Finally, Rez managed to sneak up close enough that he could eliminate that USP. But it might be too late. Two on three. As Alexi and Rez try and see if they can recover the round after the damage that was wrought by Bit. And the bomb gets planted behind it. MPL and Electronic and Perfecto on the other side. And a good sneak up. Alexi, this is so smart. Instead of playing, playing passive inside the bomb site, he's trying to push up and take away the advantage. He's actually hunting it down. Perfecto's low on help, and Alexi, he's found a way. Three kills on him. That is a brilliant recovery from NIP. They're able to withstand it. NIP are able to pick up the pistol, but Bit's precision right now is something to behold. We heard the desk, we heard Maniac and Pimp both talking about the inconsistencies in Bit thus far at the spring groups. But if he's able to hit some shots like that, and it does look like NIP want to challenge this. Yeah, this is a really good call for the setup for Navi. This could be devastating. They're probably gonna have a flashbang, but you can see Bit is trying to dodge it already. Oh, they get the early kill on Simple. That, that's huge. It breaks up the crossfire. If not for that, they might have been slowed down and it could have been all over. So I'm actually, I actually think NIP, they kind of walked that off pretty quickly, made it look like it wasn't a big deal. Wants to push on forward. It does seem like NIP are going for the hit now, though. Yeah, they didn't want to slow it down. They realized, let's just go for it. 35 seconds. Good spray, but even better return. Maxta gets the headshot in the back on Perfecto. And that is the kill that's going to allow them to at least get a bomb plant here. That one Molotov at MPL. He's going to throw it all the way in the back. And even if nobody's there, it's just a good angle that they don't have to cover now in the same way. And they can be a little bit more safe and feel like maybe nobody's hiding back there. Three on three, though. They need to be quick with it. Maxa, that's another good headshot. He's still in the back here now on his own. You know what? Oh, wait a minute. Maxter. Got head trick still moving out there. Simple. He's going to get one kill. I don't even know if he can run away from the bomb. And Maxter gets the last one. A good triple. That is well done. Now we don't look too warmed up at the moment. Simple with the orb. And then it's obviously a different experience thinking one step ahead. He just stays in the exact same spot he took that shot from earlier. Yeah, gonna try and get the way around the corner. Alexi runs right into the shot. They do have that position with Maxter playing up at the A apartment, so if he could find a kill, maybe he could open up the defense a bit more. Instead, it's Brolin, the first on the site. There was a smoke after he had died, and you could tell he had his back turned looking into the pit, expecting maybe that there was more coverage there, which there just definitely wasn't. Maybe a mistiming, or maybe some miscommunication, or just the pressure of playing the three on five. But either way, it'll be the first round for Navi. This is going to be so difficult for NIP to breach. Yeah, difficult, though bordering on almost impossible. It's a five-man defense at the A-bomb site. They're trying to make their way through. Rolling, getting a kill, and Hetrick on top of it, but it's still very, very late. 15 seconds. How could they find the remaining player? Bit has got the right idea, and the headshot to follow it up, and this is good. Head trick, just maybe save the AWP at this point. There is no way out of this round. And even that looks like it's not going to be possible. Simple, just holding him in there. I think it was already, it was questionable when they first made the move. To put him there. But Perfecto challenged and jumping right through the smoke is Brolin. Nice assist from, assist from Alexi B, but Rez was right behind him too. Electronic playing right around that smoke. Ooh, maybe a little bit of a misstep right there, but he's still able to recover with a single kill and NPL was right there with him. And look at Simple just at least peeking over on the other side. It's not a ton of information, but he is looking into, I think, Boiler Room just to see if anything's happening there. It's NPL at the back of the site entirely on his own and he can't stand up to that fight. You always got to test those bottom banana smokes. Sometimes you get away with quite a bit. And we saw an example case in point there. Wow. Okay. Alexi B just running straight down to take take out Simple. Bit will be able to save that off. With all that uh, nade damage that usually comes in. But NIP, they're interested in contesting this side of the map once again. NPL in the cubby. Swings out. Ooh, actually he gets blinded and he's not able to connect. But no, he recovers to take down Alexi B. And now we see the rotation is in. The crossfire is here. Bit, simple, NPL, everybody connecting right now. And NIP, they feel completely stuck in the bracket. They made that their grave. All these different situations that go against you. And they have. There's that molly we were talking about. NPL 
Throws a nice smoke to put it out. And it does look like someone will be able to assist him. I think Simple is throwing a flash for him. The spray is there. That's beautiful from NPL. Four kills for him off the back of an excellent setup from Simple. But there we go. Yeah, especially with the boost up here, right? How do you keep that with pistols and and actually get an entry? But I mean, setting up a run boost basically at the lips of uh, the B-bomb side. Maybe not a good idea. Oh, well. I think they're trying oh. it. Well, that's exactly why. Case in point, Anders. That's why go. you don't set up there. That's an ace for electronic, by the way, but against pistols and, you know, no armor. Still, you can see NPLs rotating through Archway right now. I think Navi have a good read of what's coming towards the bomb site. And Electronic, he just has to buy some time for the smoke, though. Perfecto's taking one kill, and he keeps it going. Electronic, he's actually the main anchor on the bomb site, but he hasn't had to do anything. His teammates have done all the work for the smoke, and this round just falls apart for NIP. I don't think they know how many people are on the other side, but the smoke to try and buy some time. Perfecto's created a bit of a wall for himself to be rotating at the back of the bomb site, and that's good for the least. The kill, and he continues the spray. Pistols oh. out, and he gets the headshot on Maxter as well. What a defense from Perfecto. That is why he's such a rock. Otherwise, they could have definitely lost the round, but... He just chewed them up. Oh, definitely. What a resource it would be. I feel like Perfecto's strength has always been his decision-making. He seems to just always be so ahead of the curve when it comes to whatever the next fight is going to be. Maybe just mentally, because seven rounds is still pretty good. It just won't necessarily feel that way. Trying to breach the crossfire. A little bit of a boost on top, and Electronic is good for the spray. A big double kill, and Perfecto is still back here. 30 seconds. He's trying to make himself difficult to find, and even worse, he's getting headshots on top of it. A flash from NPL, and the kill for Perfecto, and Navi win the half. That is devastating for NIP. Trick up their sleeve, and it looks like a B-split right now with only 24 seconds. Looks like Rez might almost get caught off guard. A little bit of an HE, but no one is around that corner. We're down to 17 seconds, and a beautiful couple of headshots ring up for the Swedish player. Electronic and Simple, though, they bring it back with a couple of their own, and the bomb is going to get planted behind it with just 8 seconds on the clock. That's very scary. The retake is already on, and Max the run and gun to bring down Electronic. And maybe there is a shot here for NIP to recover this very chaotic ground. Simple and Perfecto, they're in strong positions. This crossfire, it doesn't seem like they can beat it, and that's because they can't. Simple takes care of all of the rest. What did he find? Four kills at the end. Because we saw Navi being very, very passive. I wonder if NIP are going to try and be a bit more aggressive on their CT side, or if they'll go for a similar style. Yeah. Reminder that they just, they had a very tough, okay, wait a second. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Head trick there with the double, holding onto this fates towards apartments. This becomes very awkward for Navi now. They're forcing themselves into this A site. Alexi V right behind that hay cart and head trick, he still has the opportunity to find the jump on them. He's right behind that smoke, but didn't opt to go for it just yet. Biding his time, keeping the numbers advantage, but Alexi B with the off angle, able to strike, taking down Perfecto. It's all up to simple now. One versus three. It was just pistols for NIP. And then continuing the fight, getting the double kill. It's all on simple now to try and recover this round. And his position's been relocated once again. They know it. They can start to rotate around it. A little bit of a swing, and that's tickling him to death out here. Alexi will get the final one, 10 to 8. And that is a very, very nice steal back, especially from Hedrick. All right, they get into it around early. They get to steal at least the one AK. Not much more than that either. Oh, and simple though. Push through. Roland's on his own behind enemy lines, and he can't get the job done. That one kill, I don't think it's going to be enough. It's a nice attempt and an interesting position, but ultimately the bomb site's fallen and they can't recover it. This is one of those rounds where. In the first half, Navi was so quick to call the save, and it feels like NIP. It does. It, I mean, it just does seem like like teams like Navi, even, even G2 sometimes they don't they don't have fight for that space as much anymore. It's a it's a big risk, and you can tell right here the trouble that comes with it. Even if you have the manpower there, you have the double setup and everything, it can still be hard to stay alive. Three people, but I'm not sure I love this position inside of the bomb site. Maybe with Max they're playing up here, he could come in just as they're fighting down to the site, but they need to stay alive. He swings pretty wide for it. And he's gonna be good for the one kill and a follow-up as well. Three in the round for Max. The, this could be enough. And a headshot from Rez. NIP. They do it again with almost no weaponry. They found a way out. 
top banana nades that we were talking about. But Navi able to press on forward because they threw that counter molly. Okay, Alexi B actually, he's challenging CT. NPL instantly finding the headshot, simple as well. That was a fairly dry hit from Navi and they just had a great oh. timing. Electronic is already in their spawn. Hedrick had no idea that this could be possible. Getting a slightly better timing than what your opponent is expecting. And IP are playing on hard mode right now. They're winning the rounds that they're not supposed to be winning. And then some of these rounds where they definitely have way better weaponry. And this will play in their favor. Some more nades just picked up now. Maxter up on the boost and right underneath them. The pistol will do the job. Alexi's dead, but oh, he was low on health already. A shutdown kill from Brolin with the 570. He's going to get two of them, in fact. And at least it made it a two on two. It's still a really good entry from Navi. Can still wallbang those boxes if you really feel like it. He almost dies to the nade outright. But he's here and live in the back and bit in the other corner. This is going to be hard to get rid of them. NIP, they're running out of, ra of time really fast. Smoke on top of the bomb, but not a problem for bit. It's going to be Hedrick to try and do the same thing and he will suffer the exact same fate. So good recovery from Navi at the end of the round. Because the full exec is not easy to counter already. You would love to have something to help you out. Well, that might help just a tiny bit, but it still is down to the defense. Brolin on his own against the entire squad of Na'Vi, and that will not be good enough. Electronic will bring him down. The bomb is going to be planted behind it. And Na'Vi looking for a 15th round. Even if it starts with Rez getting the kill, that B defense is getting wiped out over and over and over again. Simple out on the hunt. And even if he runs into... The M4 on the other side, you can tell. With no kit, there is no opportunity. Hedrick tries to keep himself alive. He'll get the kill onto NPL. Should be able to escape. Perfecto and Electronic, they're both actually dead to the bomb. So that's uh, something that NIP can... And so they're going for the B exec. And if won it so many times, it, it makes a lot of sense, to be honest. Even if it's really simplistic, why not just try and do it? Another good opening against Alexi. He was up on the box with the SMG. And now the question is, how much damage can Brolin do up here? Good little boost, but he's going to be found before he can even really escape. The bomb is dropped with four seconds, and that kills enough. They don't need to fight any longer. Hedrick will still get the job done, but they would have run out of time either way. I want to see NIP summon some strength in this lineup to power through. I want to see NIP find that. It feels like more often than not, they don't. They kind of just get, they get blown up kind of like this. <laughs> NPL on the double entry, two headshots and alone defending it with absolutely no shot. It's Alexi, oh. but always doing a fine job. Picks up the AK and it's close. He almost outlines Perfecto with that spray. And the backup is being intercepted by Bit in the archway. What a tough position now. One versus three. Hetrick trying to push through. Perfecto will take him down. 16 to 10. Navi, a slow start, but a classic comeback from them into this first map. You've got to say, looking like it could be a repeat of last time here for an IP. Dualies instead of USP if you're going to be relying on that flashbang. Because you can hit yes. the flashbang and still hit very few kills. Oh, he's pushing forward as well. That's dangerous, but a very crisp shot. That's well done. Here comes the flash to set it up, and it's slowing them down. It actually gets a little bit of more damage. Gets a chance to reload as well, although now we are getting closer to the bomb site. Max is helping out now beyond the flashbang. A couple of great headshots to make sure that Navi will never enter the bomb site. It's all on simple with 35 seconds and a one versus five to start Mirage with. I just love how composed Alexi B looks in that situation. We'll see what Simple's able to do. Never want to count him out too early in these kinds of rounds. Finds the headshot onto Brolin with 20 seconds. Likely has to make his way up connector. And there is a smoke right there, but actually goes for the window option. This, th no there's way. still no, t no way to make this. 10 seconds left. Alexi B picks up his third on the round. Navi able to pick up rifles to no one's surprise. Rez flashed through behind the smoke. That's a knockout. Bit. Literally never saw it coming. But MPL. I actually think that's a cool idea to try and take space because you know they just had that little skirmish in the middle, so sometimes that can work. But this time it backfires even worse. Grenade bounces off, but it doesn't hit Perfecto. The follow-up nades will certainly well, though. And it's all on simple now again in another one versus five. And uh, ooh, might get an opportunity. It's close. It's so close. Unbelievably close. I feel like he must have been able to see him a couple of times, but it might be hard to register. Rez will find him instead. It's a flawless round for NIP. 
Taking the time with it, aren't they? Rez felt like he almost overextended there, and he might get hunted down, and timing couldn't have been better. Bit able to pick it up, Alexi. Fight that he should be winning. And that's going to slow it down once again. And it kind of keeps this round in NIP's control. Four versus three, 30 seconds. And now it feels like Navi, they don't have a lot of choices. They feel like they just have to go for it. They have a lot of grenades, though, which could be interesting if they can make their breakthrough. Breakthrough. Two people at the bomb site. Smoke up to try and deny any Molotovs from coming out. And Maxter, though, excellent control. Taking two and a chance for a third NPL. He'll hit the headshot, but there's only 10 seconds left. And he should be, and he will be losing this round for sure. Alexi taking his sweet time with it. But NIP, it will be him and Alexi trying for the crossfire. And Navi don't have that much to break it up with. Flash goes out, but this is still a good defensive position for NIP. Alexi, he'll get the first one. He had the right idea. And Maxter now, it's all up to him. He's going to get traded right away. Nine seconds left. And the bomb is going to be running straight on there. Two versus two now. Let's NIP see if they can deny the round. No, Na'Vi. Once they're in the game, then they tend to stay that way. And Simple boosted up. Hard position to clear this one. The spray, it is good. And Hetrick, he couldn't get the follow-up AWP shot. And now, it might be better to walk away. They're low on health, but with the AWP, it might not make a difference. On that B site, it, it actually is broken open. And Bit and Simple, they're able to connect. Hetrick, he does find the kill onto Simple. He keeps his AWP alive, too. So, the money, it's still okay for NIP. They'll be able to buy in the next round. It, and oh, okay, okay, he actually takes everything away. That That's actually very impactful. There there are several players with Na'Vi. Alexi's moving away from that, that anchor spot. He's, he's playing there a lot, but all right. A hit, little explosion, but Brolin and Maxter are able to find a couple kills. Brolin still, he's being burned alive right now, forced into the action, and Rez is able to find that return on a Perfecto. This becomes very confusing for Na'Vi to put together now. Yeah, hit trick taken up at the back of the B site with the AWPs. That's why Maxim was out here. Electronic, the timing is godlike, and he nearly gets a double. Gonna be simple instead now. One versus two. He's just now putting down the bomb. Now he's up on the Tetris box, looking right over. This is dangerous. He might be in a very powerful position here. Flash into the sky, but doesn't really touch him at all. And the gun barrel's showing easy pre-fire coming up from Simple. Now one more target on the other side. See if Hetrick can find the shot with the M4, and he can. That's such a shallow peek. Three kills for Simple, but not enough to save the round. It's NIP right back into it for the T side. Gonna put some speed behind this one. Max, they're trying to smoke it off and just try and stay safe back here. Flash is landing everywhere on the bomb side. He's created a little bit of a space for himself and he could have maybe found that shot, but instead they lose Hetrick as well on top of it. Three versus three. And they're on the site. If they find Alexi, this might be another round for Navi, although he's doing a very good job staying hidden in the corner. They might have forgot about him, in fact. And oh, oh. simple. He remembered. That is a very good kill. They line up in the back. And Rez maybe could have taken both of them. Brolin. And now, question is, can they actually find some post plant positions here? Navi, they feel a bit exposed. Molotov? Yeah, it'll force Brolin this way, but that probably doesn't matter. And Brolin doesn't look like you want to throw any grenades. He just wants to solve this with the gun. But Bit, he's quick. He swings wide, and he takes him down. Yeah, they, they're just going for these walk double pushes. So at least, at the very least, they can trade. And this might actually work out for them beautifully. Electronic has the bomb in Palace. This is so worrying. Yeah. Because even if they deal with Brolin, Maxter is here to secure the explosives. That is very active. Very cool round from NIP. All of the pressure on Na'Vi to try and recover this one. And Maxter is doing God's work inside of the Palace. It's three kills on him right now. NPL all alone with no bond the, and no teammates either. 30 seconds, a little bit of a good spray, beautiful headshots. He's doing so much damage, but ultimately, it, it should be too late. There should be no way to get back into this. Max just has to stay cool up here. One bullet should take care of NPL, and he's got about 18 seconds. He'll be shot in the back by Alexi and NIP. That is a well put together round. Rez might be the only defender that could stop this from happening. 19 seconds on the clock. If he gets the first kill up in the palace, then there is a way. Wait, he's not seeing oh. it. Now he finally is. Took some sweet time. Good one oh. kill and a good follow-up headshot to bring down Simple. Eight seconds. That's the bomb in the back. <laughs> and Rez, he's done it. Four kills with the MP9. That could have gone horribly wrong. wrong. What, a, what a weird round. Rez has got 16 kills. He's in the middle, ready and waiting, and this time, Brolin on the opening, finding his sixth kill of the game. 
Bit will take, or actually Electronic will get that kill. And they're a little bit quicker this time. Moving in to take over jungle. Aggressive play towards this and in the murder hole there. Max the, yeah, thought better of it. Not really worth it. Still a four on three. So NIP have a chance in the round, but it's a good start for Navi. Yeah, they, they still don't have the bomb down and Roland's fighting his way out of CT spawn. Headshot onto Perfecto. Alexi B moving up connector, taking away some angles from this Navi approach, but does feel like the bodies are, there's too many of them for Navi. Alexi double peaked, almost able to find both. Now Maxter, let's see what he's made of. The stand-in hears that they are retreating. They're moving away from him, but with 20 seconds left, they might have to go right into him. The smoke will block this sight line. He gets a glimpse of Electronic, doesn't spot Bit just yet, and Bit one wing right around the smoke. Very strong hold for them, even with three HP, just holds the line. The logarithmic scale, so, you know, four to five, we get, things get way worse. Oh, okay, that's that's the start that NIP were looking for. Rez just standing his ground, but Maxer, he's the one tested. 5-7 at the van right now, able to pick up the first on the Perfecto. That's the bomb too. Rotation should be coming in. Alexi B unable to get a kill though, and this really puts Maxer on an island. He's got to do God's work if he wants to bring his team forward in this round. He's able to get another, but the trades, they don't quite work out for Navi. It just leaves simple. When he goes straight for it, look at the Brolin right for the smoke. That's such a bold move, and it works out. Brolin ice cold, beating simple in that there's not been that much backup. Alexi at the most maybe has been over in connector towards the middle, but it's been, he's had to make a lot of decisions himself. Electronic, I actually love everything about that play. It's so sick to walk that far in with the timing. Oh. Unfortunately for him, Hedrick just turned around at the right moment. But I still I still think that's a, that's a brilliant idea for Electronic. It didn't work out. And so that's what something that's something that's a little bit scary about NIP. If they really get the system rolling, if they really start putting the pieces together here, this guy is actually a very capable hybrid. You wouldn't really just pigeonhole him into being. And Roland's getting close. Okay, he wants to actually stop this in advance. That's beautiful. The proactive play works out in his favor. He's able to get a kill, figure some information out for his team. Now Rez behind triple. They are approaching, and he's been hot so far, but he doesn't even get a chance to shoot back. Oh, Hattrick got the kill on Electronic down connector right afterwards, but it still does open up the bomb side. Good catch for Alexi. He's been good as well. Three versus two. And simple now, the last one alive. Max has shown up as well. 25 seconds. And he does have the bomb and he's trying to make an escape. World class and lethal AWP. He's trying to relocate, wants to make sure that he can't easily get naded or molotov out from any kind of corner. This is a much more versatile position, although he's back down below, misses the first shot, and they're running him down. Good flick to drop Maxter. Next up in line, it's head trick, and he's dead as well, but the defuse happening on the other side. Oh, simple! That is one hell of a clutch! One versus three, and a secret ninja plant on the other side. That's a good way to end it, but Navi, they have all of their work ahead of them. NIP, they're a team that just Hard to believe till they actually get it over the finish line. And Rez taking down NPL. It was a set play to try to activate that pistol, but it'll actually be a B hit. Bit. He's so dangerous with those headshots. You just have to be careful oh. there. That's the reason why it's so sick. And he's taken down Maxter. The young kid is trying to play at this level. Definitely a challenge. Perfecto on the other side. He's going to be taking on Hedrick. Now it's all up to Alexi and he's dropping quick. Oh. Rez is practically dead already. It's a brilliant retake. Practically not even a retake. They were on the bomb site when the bomb was being planted. So is it appropriate to strike? But we'll see if he even needs to get activated. The hit is on towards this A side. NPL stands his ground right around that smoke. And Electronics able to get one too. So, Ooh. oh, what? NPL takes down Maxer right through the smoke. Must have been calm to him his position, but Hedrick and Brolin doesn't feel like they have many opportunities left in this round. No smokes, no nades, nothing, and they are taken down. Navi withstand the force buy from ninjas. There is a chance that that guy at Ticket Booth could see, but it's not been calmed. I don't think anyone knows yet. Alexi continuing his mission, and that's a free kill. What a beautiful bit of movement from Alexi. A good lesson that is not just all about mechanics. Some of it could just be outsmarting the opponent, and he keeps it going. He's almost won the round already for his team. 
That was beautiful stuff from Alexi. This will be really tough for Navi to get back into this one, but they're able to deal with the mid presence in res. This is where it might get a little bit interesting if they find a kill soon, but it does look like they have bowed out of this. Are you maybe kind of plan for? You just see it in the moment and you think, okay, I guess I can sense. Even without the stack, just the fact that there's 20 seconds, there's so little time. One mistake, the bomb could drop and never get picked up again. This is scary. 15 seconds, they get the opening on one. Electronic is calling it out. Pretty decent nade to slow them down on top, but they are still running at him. But now the bomb's out in the open. That's just what we mentioned. It doesn't take a lot. Four seconds left. They do pick it up, and they're right on top. They have the time for it. Maxter, the hero of the round. And now it's a two on three. If he doesn't jump and pick up that C4. But that was way too close. You were saying that if, if anything went wrong, and it did, it could be a disaster for NIP. But Maxer, as it does indicate the likelihood that they will be challenging that site. This could work. If they find the electronic immediately, they can lock out the mid portion of it. But a good kill, at least for him to begin with. It's too much to handle to follow it up. And a near lineup perfect. Who could have had three in that spray down. But Hetrick is quick on the return. Still a two on two. And this bit, finding that spray at range, maybe not the most stylish kill, but it'll get the job done anyway. Maxter. Did he see the shadow when they're above him? He might be able to. They're throwing more grenades, all the nades at him, but he's not there. He's relocated, and I don't think they realize. Smokes and flashes now on top, and that smoke might help him out. He has to move because the bomb is on the other side, and it's a quick defuse as well. Headshot on one. One more second. Oh! Baxter on the clutch. Absolutely brilliant. Welcome to tier one. That is important. Mad Max. 14 to seven. NIP, they're basically there. They've basically done it. Good opening here for Hetrick and Maxter. And they avoid simple. They hear the gun ring out to the bottom of the B-bomb site. They say, why well, fight it? It's not really worth it. Perfecto shot up with the Deagle, but he misses the, maybe the one opportunity that he had. And it will be a one versus three for simple. Element of surprise, not even really with him. They knew he's a back of B. It's not going to be a huge shock if he shows up, but the accuracy is still with him as he takes down Maxter and just keeps running for it. He knows he has to try and do something to bring his team back into it. No kit on him. NIP with the firepower advantage were able to bust their way into that bomb site. This is NIP potentially setting us up. It's a big reason why they've looked stronger here on Mirage. All right. Map control being taken. NPL sitting right in that smoke. Things seems like Alexi heard that scorching sound, and that is an advantage already for the offense. But simple, he's able to find a kill in return. Oh no, Rez doesn't seem like he's actually checked him out. That spot, he overlooked it, and now simple, he's he's having an opportunity, but Maxter shuts him down. Spray a little bit too long, enough for head trick to show up at the same time, and it's a two on two. Yeah, I think he might have thought that Simple fell back from that position. Either way, he definitely wasn't ready. Bit and Perfecto holding on to Mirage now right now for Navi. And Perfecto getting double peek. That's too much. Bit is the only one left. And he's low on health behind that initial fight. Flashed on over, but Hetrick hiding inside of the smoke. And Bit has to move. He can't. Hetrick will take him down 16 to 7. As NIP, they find some strength still left in them. The Jenga tower is going to stay standing all the way onto overpass and maybe they could do it this time last time they didn't quite make it work but it maintains so much information for navi for perfecto to be seated there but it does look like nip are interested in this a site nades are already out in hand and electronic will be the first one tested close bathrooms yes he will oh the flashbang seemed to work but it didn't matter in the end rez will still find a shot and he'll take down simple only bit defending oh. the bomb site but he's doing it in world-class fashion two out of this world headshots and now it's on to rez 45 seconds he knows the bit is back there somewhere he peeks once and will take care of business Another two shots like that, and it can be done. He does see a shoulder, realizes where Bit is, so he's got all the information, but he hasn't quite got the time. 30 seconds. He could maybe run back if he feels like he's safe. They're going to double peek him, and it is too much. A good round for Navi. They are all centered around this short A area, and Electronic is right around the corner. Yes, he is. That's where you want to use these weapons. Bomb is on the ground. Still a minute left, and they are scaling onto the bomb site. He sees the shadow, and Maxter is close, but not close enough. Bit assisted with a flashbang, and that gives him the second kill. Alexi, 
too far away from this. Can't really do much of anything. He is looking really sharp in the opening rounds here of Overpass. If anybody wanted a single player to show up, okay. Nice shot from Simple 2. But a, a Bit is a guy that empowers them. They feel like they can take that space, but there was no actually kill that they were able to find because of it. And now NPL Perfecto, they're able to just defend that bomb site unimpeded and simple. That's a collat. Nice shot from him. Lexi B, he's, he's got himself outside monster. Okay, he wants to pop into this. I love it. I think that's a sick play. The flashbang maybe not even really needed. Alexi just getting so close to the action. Now flashes are raining down everywhere. Simple from the high ground though. He'll take one and this is the next deep grenade. It would have killed Alexi, but instead Electronic was quicker this time. Head trick. He's going to beat it to the punch. Two versus two. Bomb is being planted with 25 seconds and I don't think they had any idea. Perfecto was down there. Close head trick. is going to go down and Navi will salvage the round. But that got so scarily close. Great call for Alexi. Just got to get the pieces in place. Nade goes way too deep, so they've got the right idea, but MPL, he got the gun out just in time. He nearly failed the timing on that one. Rez with a headshot on Perfecto Electronic. He's not ready. Max does pushed up behind him. Just so much speed, it looked like. When they traded on the site last time, this time when they have everybody there ready in waiting. They still have Electronic here with the smoke. That's a devastating Molotov. That's really going to slow it down. NIP realize now, if we wait it out, we might just be too late. So they're going to instead try and extinguish it. Simple's here with the AWP in play, but the flashes and the smokes are pretty good. They're putting on some pressure. Not enough to stop him from hitting that AWP shot, though. And Hattrick, one versus four. There's absolutely nothing he could do here. Perfecto will take him down. And Navi, they lose a round. They take the timeout, and they go right back to winning. Some internal clock telling him that he could have moved up and it wasn't that far off. Alexi, not going to be quite as fortunate. No jump peek from him. He peeks right into it. Bit's going to go down, though. And there's 38 seconds. They're putting some pressure on Simple hiding inside of the smoke, trying to get back. He's under a lot of pressure and he might be dead here. Oh. But no scope fails him for once. And Maxter is there. An electronic trying to get onto the site, scrambling to defend the A-bomb site. But it is too late. NIP finding a second round and... They actually looked like Rez was moving when he shot that, but he was able to find the kill, and because of that, the entire setup just falls apart between Simple and and Bit. Didn't look like Max could see anything. <laughs> that can't just be a, a one a one odd round for NIP though. They really need to keep this building and like we said earlier, because of the money on the Navi side, even if they lose some of these rounds, they just need to do more damage. Two deaths already and an HE dunked on Rez. Electronic will pick him up. They're about to be at 8-2 as a scoreline on Navi's end. And this is one of those Navi rounds where they're just comfortable in their setup and that might come back to bite it, but oh no, simple. How did he find that correction? He had to shoot him right through the bathroom sign. I guarantee you that is a tilting moment. You feel like you had him. He was occupied up close. He was worried about that. And instead of falling back, he's doubling down on the aggression again. Simple going to be able to find Rez. Three versus five now. And the round has fallen apart here for NIP. They are challenging him, but it's taking so much time. There's 20 seconds left. And this is, again, a very telegraph play. Of course, Navi know that it's coming to the A-bomb side because the B-bomb side is just too far away. Some flashes being underhanded out, and it's all on Hetri. One versus three to try not just get the kills, but maybe get the bomb part in the meantime. Seven seconds left, and he goes straight for it. And they're running him down. They're not even going to allow it. What a what a suffocating move from Simple. Bit Simple, we got to see this shot back. Oh, actually, it's through the edge of the rock, it looked like. It is early in the season. Oh, well, here we go. That's maybe worth pointing out, too, obviously, that when Simple's having a game like this... Bit, he's already so close in these bathrooms. Right there on the other side is Rez. And Bit's able to win the fight. Feels like it's no surprise with how this half's going, and he gets another on top of it. Could have just as well been a third. Maxter is at a nine health, and Bit is 13 and three. He shot it all the way down. Alexi alone against the rest of Navi. And there's not much that could be done from here on out. He's got the right idea, but even this kill shouldn't make any difference whatsoever. Now, 35 seconds. 
They know exactly where he is. He's trying to bait out a push from NPL. Almost actually could have found the timing, but Perfecto is the insurance policy. Even if NPL peeked right in there, Perfecto would have going to swing right in it with him. Wow. <laughs> it's quick. It's real quick. <laughs> when the smoke comes later, too. You just feel extra bad about that. Yeah, could have worked out, but it didn't. Perfecto's playing fine down to the B-bomb side, too, so they, they got everything going on. Good grenade around the corner. Alexino, forward position and a surprise for Electronic. He's dead before he knew what hit him. A follow-up. Alexi, it's looking good. Double entry. And they are back to the B-bomb side. More explosive play. Third kill for Alexi. And now it's all on simple. He probably shouldn't be going for this, but he might just feel like, I've got so much money, oh. and I just feel so good about it that I'm going to give it a little shot anyway. First kill out of the four that he needs. That's how it starts. NIP, you cannot let this one go. No, but... Simple has a different thing in mind. There is a flank coming in. He's going to get one more. Surely he will never expect that Hedrick is walking around the back. It shouldn't be possible. Molotov there. Rez can't peek the Molotov, so if he actually goes straight for it, he might just win the round bot based on the defuse. Oh, but shot in the back. There was an opportunity. If he throws the Molotov and goes straight for it, there actually is a chance that he could win it. Course just pushes on back. This might catch NIP off guard, but another flash to take him off. And so it is Electronic that picks up the first kill, and Simple is tagged down pretty low. There's fights going on across the map right now, but NI, but Navi come out on top. The grenade uses to try and put some pressure on, on Simple, but he had backup, as you said. Nice counter flash. That should have probably been a double match. Sure it's going to be good for just the one, and it's all on Hetrick now. Flashes through. He can't see a thing and is trying to hide inside of the smoke. Simple creeping up close. A 12 to 3 scoreline at the end of the half. And right now, NIP are in trouble. We'll see if Navi can finish this coming up after the break. Want to end this hit towards B. Smoke towards heaven and Alexi B. He'll be tested right around this pillar. Yeah, Molotov could be thrown in behind him. Flash in his eyes as well. He can't land that shot. It's not good enough. Maxter will finally get one more kill, but the bomb is being planted and Simple setting up for a bit of a counter flash. It might have been too late. He still ends a headshot. He Electronic is fighting in the open. Simple wasn't even there with him. That seemed like it was a bit disjointed. I think that could have been better for Navi. But the truth is Simple is still alive and he's looking for the headshot, nearly lining it up. Head trick is very low on the other side. He has got one chance and one bullet to try and do this. Otherwise, Simple will absolutely take him down. And there it is. A great clutch coming out from Simple. He is having himself a vintage performance. We've been seeing a couple MP5. That's the second one I remember us seeing. Okay, a little goosh. Ouch. He's out of there. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. There's probably a good amount of damage, but just no kills going the way of NIP. Felt close, but... It's not enough. No. There's Navi slowly taking wow. it. I don't know why he's still alive there. Wow, just... Okay, four players with 30 or less HP, and no one dies. <laughs> it's so close. All of those kills almost. Looks like they're going to be going right through the tunnel. Smokes be damned. They're running right at Maxter, and that's so much damage. He shut it down. Beautiful defense so far. Hasn't reloaded yet. He wants more. A triple kill and a time maybe even to put up the Molotov. He's done his job for now. Simple though, fighting back, but only for a second. They don't let him spiral out of control here. And it is finally a round pick up in the second half for NIP just as they're about to lose the map. Three players though on this A defense for NIP. Does seem like Navi have the utility to unseat some of them, but we'll see if the exec is good enough. Deep Molotov that puts so much pressure on Simple on the opening frag. Only 15 seconds, one mistake, and it all goes down the drain for Navi, but they found the entry. 10 seconds still left and a two on three, and they go straight for the bomb plant here, making sure that no one's coming in from the bank and they're going to be able to get the job done. I don't think there's much Rez and Max that could do. I mean, you could... They're making it work. And that's also, I mean, partly what can happen when you get pushed really far back. Yeah, it's so overpowering. And again, from, from Max's point of view, first time experience in something of this caliber, and it must be overwhelming. Good jump from him, though. Taking down MPL, that could have really gone wrong. And if he dies, I think they lose the bomb site almost directly after. Remember, Alexi is so low from the earlier nades. He's in the corner. The flash is decent, but not good enough. The follow up is there, and Max is going to be dead. Double kill from Perfecto and Brolin, the only one that could keep NIP alive in this game. Looking for it, and he spent quite a few bullets. Has to be careful that he doesn't run out, although Perfecto is low on the other side. 
And that might be what just favors slightly Brolin here. That and the time. Eight seconds left. And Brolin, he'll find the shot at the end. A good clutch. And another round for NIP. Not necessarily the, the composure you'd expect out of Electronic to just be running in like that. Limited weapons on the Navi side, but they forced it up. They want to try and see if they can end it. And it is a brilliant start. A double peek coming in from NIP to try and take control outside of the bomb site, but they run right into Perfecto, and he will keep it up, trying to enter. It's Electronic to get the third kill of the round, and MPL, he's tucked back in here with a Deagle. If you try and rotate through, are you really going to be checking it? All right, he did. That's some heads up play. That's nicely done, but it's still time off the clock that they want to be spending defusing and not fighting NPL. Every single second counts, and he's made it expensive already. Two on three. They know where they're coming from. They know where this retake is going to be happening from. NIP should never be able to win this round. It's just so much time off the clock already. They do have a kit, but they're going to have to navigate around. Molotov there to slow them down. It's simple. Finding 27 at the end of it. And Navi will bring down NIP. Again, taking three maps, but a strong performance at the end on overpass. Incredibly convincing stuff there from Navi to close out the series. Simple just playing on another level than anybody else. But behind him, obviously getting so much help from Perfecto.